It's your boy Poetic Flocko with Hip Hop Now TV, and we're back again with another one, folks. Now check it out, folks. Check it out, man. Lil Bibby, not to be mistaken for Lil Baby, right? But Lil Bibby is reportedly Suge Knight, man. Now, if you guys haven't heard, man, Lil Bibby was channeling his inner Suge Knight, man. You know when Suge Knight was in his prime, right? When the artist would would try to f over Suge Knight, right? He go ahead and see him. All right, he bring the beast to him. He bring the violence to him. Well, we all thought that Lil Bibby, all right, you know, he comes from Chicago, right? So we all know he had a little edge to him, but he's soft-spoken, a calm demeanor. So we all thought Lil Bibby is a calm person, man. But nonetheless, man, he brought that smoke and fire to Kid Leroy. Now, if you guys don't know what's going on, Kid Leroy, a decent rapper, right? He's the norm. He's melodic. He's white. Threads that very fine needle between a pop star and a hip hop artist. Nonetheless, is working for him, all right? So Lil Bibby signed Killer Roy very early on when Killer Roy was, I believe, 15 years old. Killer Roy is over 20 years old right now, right? So Lil Bibby had been working with Killer Roy for a very long time. However, last year at the end of 2020, Killer Roy fired Lil Bibby. He utterly fired him, all right? Now, Here's why that's kind of odd, right? So it's odd because Lil Bibby said he signed Kid Leroy. Now, if you sign somebody, they're your employee, all right? They're on the corner working for you like a $5 hoe, all right? So if they're your employee, how do you fire the employer? You can't. So I believe what took place is Lil Bibby is discovering these artists, is signing them early, and then seeking larger deals for these artists, right? Keeping a percentage, having the bigger labels deal with those artists while getting a check for them up front as well, right? So get a check up front. And, and a percentage on the back end. I believe that's what took place. And then probably Lil Bibby was still working with Killer Roy like, like as a manager probably or in that capacity, sort of. So Killer Roy fired him. And now after Killer Roy fired him, it's been about a year and a half, right? We haven't heard nothing about it. It turns out, out to academics for the exclusive. It turns out Lil Bibby had the goons wait outside for Killer Roy at Summerfest. And they chased him down and almost caught him to give him the beats, people. All right, they wanted to catch Killer Roy to rearrange his face. They wanted to give him the uh, Chicago style ad whooping. Folks, they was really trying to do him. And now apparently, Killer Roy defied the odds. Right, he's not a regular white man now. He's no regular white boy apparently because Killer Roy defied the odds and outran some Negroes people. This is a special type of white man. Now I understand why Lil Bibby signed him early on. Man, he's seen potential in him. He's seen rareness. He's seen greatness. If you can outrun a couple of dusty Negroes, man, you got to be a stupendous white man, man. Now, listen, man, uh, it was really under wraps until academics revealed it. So I don't even think, you know, it's gotten around an industry like that, right? This is very out of pocket. This is very out of character. Not out of pocket, right? Because if Killer Roy did you dirty in business, you know, give him everything you got, right? This is very out of character for Lil Bibby, I should say, man. But... Y'all let me know in the comment section, man, do you guys think that Lil Bibby was justified for sending the goons for Killer Roy, or is he tripping, right? It's your boy, Poetic Flocka with Hip Hop Now TV. Give us that HBO special, folks, and click that like, sub, comment. Also, don't forget, bro, click that notification bell so you get notified when we drop 24-7. It's your boy, Poetic Flocko. I'm out of here, folks. Peace.